So puring the iron, something that all golfers would love to do. Let's have a look at three hacks that you can use to try and make that possible. Nailed it, 10 out of 10. It's gonna be a good filming day, this. Hi guys, my name is Peter Finch and welcome to the channel. If you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, that like button, and please comment below on everything that you see in today's video. Remember, this is all about sharing and the more we share, the more we will all learn together. And we're on the 18th here at the Shire. It's a wonderful hole. It's got the S water hazard looping around the green. This is Seve's only design in the UK. And boy, oh boy, are you gonna need a nice accurate iron shots to find this putting surface. So the first thing that we're going to be looking at a little bit more detail is sternum position. So this is hack one. Now, for sternum position, you have to understand a little bit about swing arc. So for an iron, if you set up, I've got an eight iron here, it's 150 yards. And if I set up with my sternum position directly over the ball, with my normal motion coming through, I'll put a little bit of pressure onto that lead foot, kind of get it pressing down and at the point of impact my sternum position is going to be just after the ball. Now that means that my swing arc is going to bottom out after where the ball sits on the ground. That's going to give me a descending angle of attack and therefore I'm going to be hitting the ball first and then the turf. So for that first little hack what you want to be doing is getting yourself set up and you just want to be trying to make sure that as you come through the point of impact, your sternum position feels like it's pressing down on top of the golf ball. You don't want it all the way over here because that's going to cause you to flick at the point of impact. And if you feel your sternum drifting back, that means you're leaning back and trying to help it up into the air. So that first little tip, getting yourself set up, ball position nice and central for the eight iron as the irons get long the ball position will move further forward and then keep that sternum on top of the ball as you actually swing in here so the second little hack we're going to talk about is hand path now hand path is obviously the path the hands take as they move around the body now what a lot of people do to try and get the iron strike nice and crisp is actually just shove the hands outwards and towards the ball. Now what that normally does is it lifts up the handle so the shaft angle is different as you come into impact that changes dynamic lie and it's a very unnatural motion to actually get the hands moving in that way. Now if you can get the sternum position over the ball and then you can move those hands around the body the club head because it's traveling downwards through impact is still going to be going out towards the ball but as the hands start to move around the body that's then going to allow you to control the club face a little bit more and it's also going to help you stop that flipping action as you move through. So sternum position over the ball, but then hack two, allow that hand path to move around the body as you actually come through the ball. So I'm going to kind of link in the sternum position as well, but again, those hands moving around the body. So the last thing we're going to be looking at is wrist hinge. Now wrist hinge is one of those things that many people forget about, but if you want that descending angle of attack, it's always easy to do that if you actually allow your wrist to hinge on the way back. Now wrist hinge has a double purpose. It adds power because you add a lever, but it also allows you, if you can keep the angles moving through, sternum over, hand path moving left, it also allows you to get that shaft lean at the point of impact, hit the ball first and the turf. I don't want to see people hanging on to the wrist hinge for as long as possible. Golf swing just doesn't work like that. But if you can get those wrists nicely hinged in the backswing and then start to turn through and rotate through, that's going to again allow you to have that crisp strike. So, last shot. Let's make it a good one. Let's set it up. Name a little bit more at the target rather than left. Wrist hinge on the way back. Oh, that is a great strike, I have to say. Just slightly left again. Not too bad. Oh, so close. What a perfect ending to the video that would have been. However, it is over. So guys, thank you so 
so much for watching. If you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that like button, and please comment below on everything that you have seen in today's video. If you are a returning watcher and you haven't subscribed yet, please also subscribe. I just want to say a massive thank you to the Shire for having me down today and allowing me to film on this wonderful, wonderful golf course, and hopefully you've learned something from this video. So until next time, guys, we'll see you soon.